New information about the controversy surrounding John McCain's running mate. Even as she uh, hits the campaign trail, campaigning for one of the most powerful jobs in America, Sarah Palin is under close scrutiny for possible abuse of her powers as the governor of Alaska. At the center of an official probe into Palin's behavior, an Alaska state trooper, her former brother-in-law. The question is this, did the governor try to get him fired? And was Alaska's former public safety commissioner then fired because he failed to go along? Drew Griffith of CNN Special Investigations Unit is in Alaska. He's looking into the controversy and he's uh, joining us now live uh, from Anchorage. Drew, you had a chance to sit down with the trooper at the center of all this, Mike Wooten. Uh, what are you learning? Surprising interview, uh, Wolf, and surprisingly candid. The ex-brother-in-law is still a state trooper, and Mike Wooten says he has no ill will towards the Palin family. He actually told me he was excited about Governor Palin's bid for the vice presidency. What he doesn't like, though, is the fact that his private life and his bitter divorce with Sarah Palin's sister and ensuing custody battle over their two children has now become the fodder for headlines all across the state, all across the country. And he sat down with me in an exclusive interview to explain his side of the story. He demanded, though, Wolf, that he had his union representative at his side. Here's part of that interview. You, the headlines about you, taser to stepson when you were a taser officer, shot a moose illegally when you were a wildlife officer, two separate incidents where somebody saw you drinking in a car, driving. True? Um, well, let me, let, me, let me take those on one at a time and explain those to you. So he did. Yes, he admits. He did taser his stepson, but he believes he did it safely. And the boy wanted it done, he says. The situation with the taser is um, I was a brand new taser instructor just uh, recent, recently at the time. And uh, I had just finished a training class and uh, had all my stuff with me and he was asking about it and uh, you know it wasn't uh, I didn't shoot him with a taser with a live you know ac actual live cartridge and shoot him with the probes and you know that kind of situation that that some people have made this out to be that's that's not the case at all um, it was a it was a training aid that he was he, that he was hooked up to uh, just little clips and um, the you know the the taser was was activated for less than a second, which would be less than what you would get if you touched an electric fence. Um, and, uh, you know, it was uh, as safe as I could possibly make it. Looking back, was it dumb? Uh, yes, it was, absolutely. And, you know, like I stated before, uh, not perfect. I've made mistakes, and I've learned from those mistakes, and not the best decision I've ever made, absolutely not. In fact, Wolf, he's made a lot of mistakes. His record is at the heart of part of this case. He admitted that he also killed a moose illegally in that interview. And I asked him about the allegations that he actually threatened to kill Sarah Palin's father. You'll hear that answer tonight on the Election Center. Wolf? Drew Griffin is in Alaska for us. We'll be listening.